Uh, good afternoon, uh, Knowles Dragon Factories and Firewood here in the rain. Anyway, I was putting wood in this afternoon and I finally got all the wood that I had around here back there in the corner. And when I started this, well, it started around the 1st of August, maybe, I thought I might have enough to fill it all up, but I just off by a little bit. Anyway, all the old wood was gone, and, and then all uh, split and inside, so all that old stuff is going to be burnt this winter. So I'll have to take home some from my son's place just to top it up. And then I'll have to take some home to to uh, refill outside on that side of the garage outside. So I usually keep a pile there. I, I can get almost, uh, I'd say probably a cord there up against the wall. So I should be able to steal some from my son over there. <laughs> Maybe. So, I'm going to try something here today. I'm going to give you a little look outside here. That's the first thing I'll do. So there we are. Rain. And it's not looking good for the weekend. We're in the tropical storm watch, uh, hurricane watch. So here we go again. More trees down, more than likely. And the Fiona wood from Fiona, hurricane Fiona last year, I'm still not done with that yet. So it looks like I might be adding Hurricane Lynn to the pile. Well, hopefully not, but that could be what's going to take place. If they say what we're going to get, apparently it's not quite as bad as Fiona, but there's an awful lot of trees that are weak from Fiona. And apparently the wind is coming the opposite way this time, so whatever trees Fiona pushed over are coming from the north. Lee will push back going to the south. <laughs> anyway, I'll come around out here and I'll show you this. Well, we've got the old wood that was there all gone, and I got those things on that. So that turned out pretty good. And then this here is all, all in the garage too, so I stacked that right down to the plow and right up to the eaves that's measured out to about a cord, one row deep. And I'm getting wet. Anyway, so I'll come down here. And real close. It's, it's two rows deep. I'm doing the stacking there to keep it from falling down, hopefully. And I don't need a whole lot. So. And you can see that wood up there at the very top is right tight to the ceiling. A lot of those I pounded in with the hammer. Now, by the time I go to use them in, mm, I'd say probably middle of January or so, there'll be about three to four inches gap there. So it'll settle and dry and there you go. In most years I have trouble stacking there for some reason and I get in too far at the floor and by the time I get to the ceiling I'm out towards the camera probably six inches or so and it gets kind of tippy sometimes so I used to put that strap there to kind of hold things but I did pretty good this year it's it's pretty well pretty well straight up and down. So I don't think I'll have any trouble this year. Anyway, 
that's what the goings on is today. I'm going to try and uh, insert a few pictures here also of me loading the wood up there, I guess. And a little update on my truck. If you remember the uh, the varmints get into the top of the engine and chewed and made nest and chewed and made nest and chewed and made nest. Anyway, son's got her all fixed up and she was running and but I, when I told him about the truck the day it quit there a couple of weeks ago, he still was not quite convinced that it was the knock sensor. So we got looking a little further, and sure enough, down on the uh, right hand passenger side, down by your feet, up on the firewall, there is a inertia switch. So uh, I gather what that does is, if you get in an accident, the switch loses connection and stops the fuel pump from running. So that's what he had thought at first that. The thing ran out of fuel pressure, so, but anyway, so he got looking, and sure enough, down in that area, the, uh, the wire was all corroded, and when the truck was running, the wire was just zinging hot, so all the coating and all that stuff all melted, and so he's got some parts order for that now, so that's not, that's not from the varmints that get into the engine. That's just, that's corrosion. So if you have a Ford Ranger truck, the older models from 2011 back, you might want to check that because it's apparently he says it's a common thing. All right, well, we'll see if I can <laughs> post these pictures here, see how that goes. <laughs> Entertainment on Noel's Garden Tractors and Firewood. So I added some pictures there of me with the, the MF-12 Massey tractor with the wood on the loader and uh, just kind of a couple of pictures of where I started and where I ended with the wood that I had left in, in there. So. so it's all inside there as you've seen from outside. And I also posted a couple of pictures of where that, uh, or of the inertia switch and the wiring that's there. So that's that's down at your feet on the passenger side beside the food box on the firewall. That's where that switch is at. If you, like I say, if you have a ranger, you might want to check that because Sun says that's a common spot for them to go bad. So thanks for watching and coming along on my journey for today. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny, so there's an awful lot of grass cutting to do, and I don't know if I'll get it all done or if I'll get to splitting Fiona wood to make room for more wood from Lee. Oh, dear. Anyhow, like I say, thanks for dropping in and having a watch. Please comment, because I like that. I like commenting back. Have a great day. Well, hopefully I didn't scare you. I'm back on again. <laughs> anyway, I just kind of want to say that I do hope this Hurricane Lee uh, doesn't damage anything for people. Hopefully... All my YouTube buddies in 
this area of the Maritimes and surrounding areas down through the states and wherever Lee is going. I hope that you all get through it without any injuries or damage to your property. It's uh, jumping last year with that Fiona hurricane. And oh man, I had, uh, I didn't have a lot of damage, but I had a lot of shingles come off the roof of my garage, which caused some trouble. But anyway, at least, at least the house stayed up. <laughs> it's over <worth> staying. <laughs> anyway. But we were without a out power. Oops. We were without power for ten days last year. And a lot of uh, the island was without power for I forget now, two one or two days. There was minimal places where you could go to get anything. Gasoline included. So if you're in this hurricane system, you you need to get supplies, food, and water, gasoline, or diesel fuel, or whatever you need to keep yourself going for a number of days, because you could get power out for days on everything. So I experienced last year. That was a, that was a real eye opener. That that's for sure. So I did buy a generator last year. Luckily, I haven't had to use it yet. But anyway, I I do have it, and it's a little. Uh, it's not a big one, but it runs in propane and gasoline, so I'm hooked up with propane here so I can and I can hook it up to my outside tank nope better get a get you switched around here yeah well, there's my propane tank down there so mix up there but anyway uh, yeah so anyway I can hook it up to my propane line that's in the, the garage here and uh, I hope I never have to put gasoline in it because that's that's not good you put gasoline in it and then don't use it for a year then there you are and the thing won't start <laughs> anyway that's what I got there I don't know why I saved the box with just like everything else I do, I save everything. Well, now yeah, I've got to turn you around again. Yeah, yeah that's the DE model. 9400 watts on gasoline. And propane is 9000. So, propane doesn't have as much power as gasoline does. Anyway, so I just got a hose down there that I can drag out. And I can drag the generator out from underneath that blanket and hook her all up. Run a few things in the house so I can at least have, at least have water and... Uh, and something to cook on if I have to. And my morning coffee, that's the main thing. I have to have that. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling on again, so thanks for listening again. And uh, I do hope that Hurricane Lee doesn't damage anything or anybody. Have a good day.